Hey guys, I recently got a lot of requests about my Kovax aim routine, how I learned how to track, considering I come from a CSGO background with very limited tracking. So I thought I'd compile a guide uh, on how to start with tracking and how I learned to track. And I recently got two rank ones in Rack Strafe Scala and Cat IC Fast Strafes. I also got a, a rank four in Thin Aiming Long. So I feel like I can definitely help people get started with tracking. So first off, I'm going to go through my settings. So if you like any of my visuals, the way I've set up my walls or my crosshair, you can just copy that. So I'm just going to go through that. First of all, my main settings, I always play on 103 FOV, the single exception being CSGO. I play at 90 FOV. And my sensitivity is always 49.5 centimeters per 360. So in this case, 3.5 for Overwatch, as my DPI is 800. Then these are my crosshair settings. This is the only thing that matters. My video settings. And these settings determine how my walls are set up in the game. So now we got that out of the way, let's go to the actual routine. I have seven scenarios that I started doing in like chronological order months ago. And I started doing them just like once a day takes me 35 minutes. I do them five times for each scenario. So the scenarios are close long strafes, invincible, thin aiming long invincible, vertical long strafes, LG pin practice 360, cat IC long strafes, rack strafes kata, and cat IC fast strafes. So I'm just gonna go through them one by one, why I choose this and tips on getting started with the scenario. So the reason I chose close long strafes invincible, it was one of the first scenarios I did. I looked up multiple guides on like the most popular tracking scenarios and this wasn't really in it, but I really liked it. It gave me the general idea of getting used to your sensitivity because it's constantly a 360 that you have to move. Downside for me as a low sensitivity player being I constantly have to lift my mouse. I think this is very good for general 360 awareness and tracking around you. This would be a scenario that would help with generally you're playing Say Overwatch, Soldier 76, someone's relatively close to your face and running around you like a maniac. Depending on your sensitivity, tips I have for this are use your entire arm. Um, constantly hold left click, don't let go. Don't focus on your accuracy, just focus on improving. If you have to lift your mouse, let go of the left click key, lift your mouse, put it back in position, hold left click again. Hard scenario for low sensitivity players in my opinion, but... Playing Kovacs for me, it's not about getting rank 1 in Kovacs, it's about improving in all the other games I play, so I don't really care um, if my sensitivity is bad for a certain scenario. The next one I play is Thin Aiming Long Invincible. The reason I play this scenario is because it requires so much accuracy to track this tiny little slim thing all the way around in the 360. I feel like it helps with general 360 awareness, but really that pinpoint accuracy. And tips I have for this is also use your entire arm. The only time I use my wrist in this scenario is when it suddenly changed movement from left to right. So I will use my wrist to adjust. And then when it goes into the long strafes, I will hold my entire arm constantly. And also I lift my mouse quite often here because once again, low sensitivity and I run out of mouse pad space. So these two scenarios are my long strafe scenarios in a pure horizontal setting. The next two scenarios are where I wanted to focus on verticality. So vertical long strafes is one that I found. Um, you can do vertical fast strafes as well. It's really difficult. So I'd start with this one. Just focus on moving your entire arm vertically up and down. And the only tip I have for this is try not to predict too much because it is random and sometimes you'll like shoot over and under and it looks really weird. Uh, just try to go with the movements and move as little as possible. I feel like this is very good for uh, just generally getting a bit used to the vertical movements. Um, reason being, there's almost no verticality in CSGO. I wanted to focus on vertical tracking. Two things I haven't really done, so that's why I started doing this scenario. The next scenario uh, makes us think um, it's LG Pin Practice 360. The thing I can compare it to most is if you're playing Overwatch and you're shooting a far that just boosted up in the sky. That's literally what it looks like. And it's also a nice vertical scenario. I just like it because it's vertical. 
And like I said before, I don't really have a lot of practice. And it's that change in movement that, you know, fast boost up, slow move down, and constantly turning 360s vertically, which I think is very nice. Then the next one I have is Kera IC Long Strafes. It's also long strafes, like the two first ones, but this is in a very small room. So sensitivity doesn't really bother me because I never have to lift my mouse in this scenario, and that's why I picked it up. And it's an easy step up to the two next scenarios, uh, which are fast strafes. So just tracking with my wrist, I don't really use my arm, even though I have a low sensitivity. I use it a little bit, but it's mostly wrist because it's such a small room. Then the two things I had the most difficulty with and that I now am rank one in, which is kind of funny. For Rex Drive Scala, you want to hold W and D to move into the right wall. Otherwise, the bot will like shoot you and it costs score. So like for this specific scenario, hold W and D into the right corner. It was so hard for me to figure out how to do this at first. So the only tip I have is to only move your wrist, pretty much. I never use my arm and I'm a low sensitivity player on this scenario. Also, you have to move your mouse a lot less than you think you do in this scenario. Uh, and that's coming from a low sense player. So really focus on the tiniest wrist movement. And for Kata I see fast strafes, it's the same thing, except it's even harder. I feel like I, I built this playlist in a way that it's like progressive. So Kata I see long strafes is easy. Then Rex strafes Kata is like easy for the fast strafe scenarios to get into it. And then Cat IC Fast Traves is like an actual difficult Fast Traves scenario. And same thing, really focus on small movements with your wrist. The movements are really fast. This scenario, these Fast Traves are so difficult, you'll never actually see this in a real game. But everything that happens in a real game that's close to Fast Traves, like let's say you're playing Tracer in Overwatch, Having done this scenario a lot will make that so much easier for you because this is harder than any scenario in a game. And that was my chronological order of my list. I use this list every day, five times per scenario. It takes me 35 minutes and I do it after I wake up. So I'm always warmed up with my tracking. A general tip I have to end this video with is if you use Kovacs as an aim trainer for other games, don't change your sensitivity or your settings just to get a higher score that will completely nullify your progress in the game you actually want to practice focus completely on improving every day will be a little bit better but that doesn't mean you'll beat your high score every day sometimes now that i'm a higher ranks in most of these scenarios it takes me a week to beat like a high score it's more about how your average every day goes up but you can have bad days so just focus on improving and you will 100% become a very good tracker within even two weeks of doing this, this routine. So I hope it was helpful and yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of tutorials in the future and good luck improving on your tracking.